Hi there, um, my crown chakra friends. Um, today we are going to learn how to create our own smudge sticks. Now you might have used a smudge stick or maybe you've heard of them and often we hear them as sage smudge sticks, but really you can create a smudge out of any plant matter um, that you would like. All plants have very specific energy and so depending on what you are what you want to do with your smudge will depend on what type of plant you want to use um, some plants can be purifying some can cleanse some can bring energy um, some bring love and passion so the type of plant that you use can make a big difference on the purpose behind your smudge and so today I am going to demonstrate how to build your own smudge stick and they are really super easy and I think once you learn how easy it is you're going to be wanting to do your own so I was able to gather some plants from my yard and today what I have is rosemary rosemary is a lovely plant and I like this plant because it grows nice and long and so it's perfect for building a smudge stick and so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be gathering my plants and I'm very respectful. So I gather my plants during the morning hour and I approach my plants with reverence, um, asking permission before I collect. And then I collect my plant with gratitude. So there's already lots of positive energy in my plant. And I'm going to lay my plants out and I want them to be long and lean. And because I want my smudge to be even, what I'm going to do is I have some thicker stems down at the end. I'm going to also put some thicker stems on this end. So now when I build my smudge stick, it feels pretty even from one end to the other. And so now I have this nice collection of rosemary. Now I'm going to add some more herbs to my smudge. And so I gathered some lavender. And these lavenders are getting close to the end of the season, so they're a little dry. They're beautiful, their scent is still very, um, very vibrant. I'm gonna put these in the center because they are more dry, so it's kind of a trick that I use. Because I am using fresh plant, and I'm, I'm using fresh plant because it's a lot easier to work with. It doesn't crumble, it doesn't fall apart, but we're gonna have to let this plant dry before we can burn it and use it as a smudge. If it's too damp, it might not dry in the center or you might get some mold in the center. So when I'm using multiple plants, I'll put the plant matter that is a little more dry, has less moisture in it in the center of my smudge stick. So I'm going to put my lavender in there. So I've got some lovely lavender that I'm just gonna lay across now some of this lavender, because it's such a vibrant color, I'm going to let it poke out because it is beautiful. And part of um, using the smudge is also enjoying the beauty of the smudge. And so I'm laying my lavender both directions. So it's on the top and it's on the bottom and pulling it together. Now I also gathered some other beautiful um, flowers from my garden. I have some beautiful rose petals. I have some a Mexican sage, which also looks very similar to, to the rosemary. It has a nice lavender color. I like to add this because of the energy of this plant, and it has a, a very distinct smell. So I like to put this inside my smudge also. When, when I am choosing my plants, I make sure that these are plants that are also edible. So these are the flowers that I use in my herbal teas. That way, if I'm burning this plant and I'm inhaling it, I know that it's not harmful for my body. So you wanna make sure that you're using flowers and plant matter that is safe for you. All right, so I've got some rosemary, I've got lavender, I've got sage in here. I'm gonna be sprinkling some of these beautiful um, rose petals in here. And it just creates such a lovely display and it smells great. All right, so I'm feeling pretty good about what my smudge stick is looking like. 
So now I have to bind it and I'm going to use a twine. And there's lots of different strings. I've seen people use um, yarn, um, different string. I like to use hemp because hemp is natural and you're gonna be burning it. And again, anything that I burn that I might be inhaling, I wanna make sure it's safe. So I'm not gonna use anything that has an artificial coloring on it or maybe a wax. So I'm gonna choose something that's natural. And what I'm doing is I'm tying the base or one end of my smudge stick. Sometimes this is much easier with another person. It's like tying a knot, right? So I'm gonna tie it super, super tight to bind it. I really want my smudge stick to be super tight and not have any air gaps inside it. That's what's gonna help create a really good burn. All right, so I'm tying it in a knot got one end down and there we go so I've got one end secure and I've got this this rest of the string hanging what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap around my smudge now and because I have flower petals in here and I've got um, my my plant matter going in both directions it's a little tricky I really have to hold it together as I start to wind this around now, I'm not sure if you can see this color on the screen. This is a violet color. I kind of like that violet is good for the crown chakra. I'm also wearing gold. Gold is another color that represents the crown chakra. And because that is the chakra that we're working on, as I'm working on this, I'm also using that intention. So my intention is focused on that ground chakra, that connection to the divine. And so as I'm working on this, that's what I am infusing into my, into my, um, my plant. And so I'm gonna take this string, I'm just gonna wind it up. Now, I might have a couple of little branches sticking out or maybe my rose petals or something might fall off. That's okay, I got it nice and tight now and I feel pretty secure. I actually can stop and just kind of grab a rose petal stick it in there and then as the string comes around just catch it inside there so you can see that beautiful color I'm gonna go all the way up wrapping it around kind of looks like a candy cane all right so I'm at the top here so now I'm gonna wrap it back down and I'm gonna wrap back down crisscrossing those initial wraps going up so now again I can take a look at my at my smudge stick see if I like it Maybe I want to add a few more flower petals, a little more color. I can do that as I'm moving my string down. So I start to, to wrap this down, and I think I might want some more color here. So I'm gonna grab one of my lavenders, stick it right there, and tie it in with that string. Maybe I want um, some more rose petals. Grab another rose petal, stick it right there. And I bring that string across to bind it in there. And I work my way back down. Now I have a little bit of string that was hanging from my initial tie, my knot right there. And I'm just going to attach these. So I'm gonna attach the end that I was holding onto to the initial knot and just tie that into a knot. Nice and tight. All right, and that is done. Now we can leave it like this and let it set out. And here in New Mexico, it doesn't take long for the smudge to dry. Um, in fact, I have one here that I've used recently, a little tiny one, and this one has been sitting maybe a week and it's super dry already. And you can see I've already burnt it. I've used it as a smudge. They will last like several times because I also like to sell these at the growers market, I might want to add a little bit more color just to bring some vibrance and energy to this. So I could choose another color string just to wrap up to add some additional color. And I'm using yellow because yellow is um, nice and bright. It's a nice complement to the purple. I'm gonna tie it nice and tight here. All right, and now I'm going to do that same movement. 
wrapping it up. This one's a lot easier now, right? Because a lot of my um, plant matter is already strapped in there. But again, I can stop. I've got some beautiful rose petals. Maybe I want to add some more rose petals. Rose petals are wonderful for bringing um, the energy of love and kindness if you're looking to soften your heart or the energy in the room. Rose petals are beautiful for that. And so I continue to wrap this up. And I'm going to move back down now. Same thing, moving back around. Oh, and maybe I want to add a little bit more color here. Adding another rose petal. Moving down. And I've gotten to the end where my little string is. And I'm just going to tie my knot again. So I tie my knot nice and tight keeping this bundle super tight and cut off the end nice all right and there you go look at that isn't that a beautiful smudge stick now if you notice that you've got some uneven ends you can go back and just trim anything i like to save my trimmings they're great to put in a potpourri or to burn separately you can burn them in a dish so I don't waste any of my, my plant matter here. Maybe if I have a string I want to cut off or I can tie it. And there I have a lovely rosemary lavender smudge stick with some beautiful roses inside there and some sage. Um, before I started this video, I created a cypress smudge and this smudge has beautiful rose petals in there. And each of these are beautiful, but they have different energy. So I would use them for different purposes. And I will add um, a reference sheet with this video. So you could choose your plant matter, depending on what you're going to be using it for. All right. So now you know you don't have to go out and buy your smudge sticks, right? You can make your own. And how lovely to know that the energy that is in your smudge is exactly the energy that you need um, for your purpose. And that you know that these plants were cared for with love. And there's so much positive energy in here. All right. So try this it's a lot of fun um i think that i might have a special occasion that i bring people to the house and we can make smudges here it's kind of a fun thing to do together All right. have a fantastic day namaste